go either way. Oh, yeah. for a round one is quite volatile. Actually, last week I think Gonard might have beat Plum. I, I'm not, I, I can't remember, but Gonard got fourth recently, I know for sure. But regardless, mm -hmm. jumping into a PS2 to start. Yeah, so uh, Plum, Plum's playstyle generally revolves around trying to like stay, stay at ledge, bait your opponent in. He really likes staying at ledge with PK fires that push himself back, and also like getting his grabs at ledge to backdoor you and try to edge guard you. Oh, and that's going to be huge against a character mm -hmm. like Little Mac for sure. Ooh. Well, we do see him staying a bit more center stage already, which is an interesting idea. But yep. Ooh. It looked like some of the ledge play coming into play there as well, but oh, tethering back to the ledge and... <laughs> it's easy coming. You, should, you gotta know that has super armor. Yeah. I don't know what he expected to happen there. Maybe he tried to cross it up. I think so. Just accidentally spacing it a little bit too close. Not mm -hmm. even getting the sweet spot. To be scared of this KO punch, if you get this much damage on you, it's gonna kill now. Yeah. And you can't even be safe shielding. Oh my gosh. Okay. That could be bad for Gonard though. The air dodge really pay or sorry, spot dodge really paying off there and getting the stage spike as well. Yeah, we didn't see attack from Gonard. He probably no. was thinking maybe it would just send him outwards, but got the stage spike to make it an even game for Plum. Yeah, what a fast start too, eh, Mortem? Like just one stock off on the player on one minute into the game and oh the PK fires are coming in now. Mm -hmm. You see this really defensive play from Plum. He's not doing anything too aggressive. Even when he's running in, he's using moves that bounce him backwards. Yeah, good spacing on his part. Okay, but the down tilt side B. That's a scary spot there for Father Plum. Mm -hmm. See, on a stage like PS2, the platforms are at Mac are able to pressure it. And Lucas also doesn't really have great tools to hit you from the platform. Oh. It's going to get another back throw, but KO Punch still online. Oh, and the Nair sending him back off stage. Wow. Landing forward tilt, not going to take it. Yeah, Gonar might go off. I wouldn't be surprised, but Plum does make it back to send Gonar back off stage. Yeah, covering yeah. that high recovery really well with the PK Thunder. Just taking the jump as well. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't get side B back when you get hit out of it. So oh, uh, true. didn't have anything to do there. That's going to be another stock for Plum. He's definitely playing his defensive game well. But Gonard is getting his licks in there. Yeah. The Jeez. single jab on shield actually getting punished really hard. And a nice extension there. And he waits for the air dodge, too, knowing he didn't want to overextend and get his landing caught or something. Woo! Yeah, great stuff. Oh, the F-Tilt's going to take it, and we got a KO on deck. Mm -hmm. Gonar is locked in there. You can see him leaning forward, but <laughs> the KO punch is gone now. Damn. Yeah, he needed that here, but still, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. Lucas doesn't have great out-of-shield options there, especially with a little bit of spacing to stop the Nair or something. Maybe forward air out-of-shield could work, but just sat in shield safely. Oh, man, that's going to be tough. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Damn, it's just the PK Thunder. It's really hard because the PK Thunder itself hits you, but like the little tail of it can still yeah. nick you there. And especially if you are if you don't get your side B back, just any hit there from the PK Thunder is devastating for Little Mac. Yeah, no, that's very true. And like, Gonar didn't go low to recover ever since the first stock, you know, missing that stage tech there. Like, tried to stay above uh, going those high recoveries there, but not paying off too well. Damn. Yeah, it's also, um, PK Thunder is also really good because it doesn't force you to go upstage. So it's not like if he misses the edge guard, he has to be ledge trapped by Little Mac. He just stays on stage and doesn't really get ledge trapped himself. Yeah, no, very true, Mortem. And the switch to Gunner. Me, Gunner, yeah. Gino, as I think he would want us to call it. Yep, there oh, yeah, he's calling Gino, it out Gino, right Gino, now. Of course. But the cup had kind of thrown me off, but... <laughs> We're going to see how this goes. I know he's definitely, like, had this before. I don't know how much practice he really puts into it. It's, uh, it's a big fan of pressing one move and then finding another move and then pressing that one move. <laughs> but we'll have to see how it goes. It's definitely a quite different play style from me, Gunner, here. Yeah. We'll have to see how Plum adapts to it. I feel like Plum's got a decent amount of experience against Gunners as well, and the PK Fire seems to be doing pretty well keeping up with the projectiles from Gonard. Yeah, both of them don't really want to approach, but I think Lucas de definitely has better boxing tools to deal with me, Gunner, though. So he's a lot more happy to be up close. Oh, nice reflect with the F smash. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. Down smash, yeah. It didn't connect, though. Wow. Still, it's getting really scary here for Gonard. Wow, great up B. Just getting multiple hits in there. That was a really weird interaction. Yeah. But I guess you're right behind him. It's not really supposed to connect there. That's a couple times, though, that Gonard's been SDIing out of the PK Thunder multi-hit. Like, he kind of did it first game as well. Ooh. Back there, he's still going to be alive. Just kind of lazily drifts back onto stage. And the F-Tilt, that'll do it. Man, that's a tough spot for Gonard once again. Another just Naren. <laughs> yeah, not getting the full Nair extension there, but okay, a couple clinks as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of Lucas's really quick moves are pressuring the shield really well here and making it hard for Gonard to get hits in. He's just playing so elusive, and Gonard is <gasps> not oh, able to get any no. hits in. A down smash is going to take that one. Three yeah. stock to one for Plum. 
I mean, it's nice to see the gunner switch, but I don't know. The little Mac was doing a little bit better for Gonard. Yeah, it's... It, oh. I, I don't see too often where switches from Gonard tend to work out, because he's definitely, like, yeah. built his play style around little Mac. So when you're playing something like the gunner, it's just not going to work out as well. Oh, man. That spike almost hitting on the back air there, too. That would have been a three stock. It still can be, honestly. Mm -hmm. I really think play, playing... Trying to stay back is really good if you're me, Gunner. But uh, Lucas does have tools to deal with it, so I'm not too sure what he should really be doing. The down smash covering that air dodge recovery, though. And you keep seeing Plum doing a lot of down tilt, F tilt. Uh, it mm -hmm. seems like a great conversion there, just getting some good damage and sometimes even a kill. Woo! And it pressures shield really well. Hot Clean damn. JV3. Yeah, look at that. That was fast. Yeah, the fist bump. Respect from Gonard there, Father Plum.